Enzymes, the biological catalysts of life. There are many exergonic reactions going on in the body that allow it to function correctly. For these key reactions to proceed, the free energy of activation, or the activation energy, needs to be overcome. This energy needs to be defeated to allow bonds of the reactive molecules to break and keep the reaction going. One might compare the activation energy to a steep hill that is impossible to climb. How may this activation energy be overcome, you ask? One way nature has found to overcome this barrier is by using catalysts. Catalysts lower catalysts. the energy of activation, thus speeding up the reaction. Catalysts are not used up in the reaction and do not make the reaction spontaneous. Instead, they are used in the reaction and leave once the activation energy is overcome. If we go back to our steep hill example, we can think of catalysts as having the ability to make the hill less steep. Because the hill is less steep, it is much easier to climb over, which can be comparable to a catalyst lowering the energy of activation and allowing a reaction to proceed. Enzymes are biological catalysts that are used in exergonic reactions in the body. Most enzymes are co composed of proteins and function in many different places in the cell. Enzymes bind to the reactant they are working on. The reactant is called the enzyme substrate. During this binding, the substrate is attached to the enzyme's active site. This relationship that is formed is referred to as the enzyme-substrate complex. The substrate stays attached to the active site until it is modified by the enzyme into the product. Enzymes are very specific in their binding. They will only bind to specific substrates and are only able to catalyze these specific reactions. that affect the active site of enzymes, thus not allowing enzymes to do their job. One factor is competitive inhibitors. Competitive inhibitors bind to the active site, which in turn blocks substrates from being able to bind to this enzyme. This can be overcome by increasing the concentration of substrates. With more substrates readily available to bind to active sites, competitive inhibitors do not have the chance to bind to the enzyme. Another factor that affects the binding of the substrate to the enzyme is non-competitive inhibition. Non-competitive inhibitors bind to the enzyme at a place other than the active site. This causes the active site to change shape, therefore not allowing the substrate to bind. Most enzymes that are made up of more than one subunit are allosterically regulated. These enzymes are constantly oscillating between an active form and inactive form, where the active site changes shape so that substrates cannot bind. An activator or inhibitor can stop the oscillation. When the enzyme is in an active form and an activator binds to the enzyme at a regulatory site, the enzyme is forced to remain in its active form. A substrate can also act as an activator by binding to one subunit, thus locking the entire enzyme in its active form. When the enzyme is in its inactive form and an inhibitor is bound to it, it remains in the inactive form. When a high concentration of activators is present, they will bind to the regulatory site. Inhibitors work in the same fashion. Most enzymes work together in a series of small steps to create a final product. When the final product is not in use by the cell, it can sometimes serve as an inhibitor. It can do so by binding to the active site on the first enzyme in the series, thereby stopping the entire process. Why do enzymes work in a series of small steps? By working in series of small steps, the cell is able to have a much higher level of control over the reaction. 
Enzymes normally use ATP to power steps like the enzyme substrate complex, but ATP is not big enough to power large modifications to the substrate. Yes, we're finally done. Yes, it was great to learn about enzymes, but it feels good to be done with the honors project. Yeah, enzymes are so interesting. I hope this tutorial helps people understand them. You guys ready to go to the gala? Yeah! yeah. Let's go.